Yeah. Yeah. Yo guys, Phil here, and today I want to bring you another After Effects tutorial. Um, but before we start, I want to mention something. Um, I said that I'm going to create a tutorial on this effect here, those purple waves, in my fifth tutorial. Um, but I actually thought about doing it in my tenth, so like subscribe a special or something like that, because it's quite hard to do. Um, and um, I want to give you guys some basic stuff first, so um, yeah. Okay, what we are going to create today is um, something most of you prob probably um, already seen. This one is my to create this window. And to this window, you can add pretty much everything: intros. Um, game clips um they're in my opinion pretty unique I use them in infliction as well here track on the wall um yeah in my opinion pretty unique head up and um that's what we're going to create is pretty much that is what I'm always using um so let's start First of all, we want to change our view from without those save things. I'm not sure what it's called in English, but just choose the top one. Um, select it, and now what you have to do is select your mask tool and just mask around here. So um, I'm going to start from here to about here. And if you want a straight line, be sure to hold shift and click. Um, and I guess it was here. Uh, yeah. Straight line. Here. Here. You can actually create it on your own. It's up to you which form you wanted to have. Um, please don't copy mine. <laughs> But it's up to you. Um, yeah, probably here, here. I'm not going to do this perfect, but for your window, you should do it as good as it possible. So, um, like that, like that. Okay, that looks <laughs> that looks really bad. Pretty sure I didn't do it like that. Oh, 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 okay. Um, going to fix it pretty fast. Delete it, delete it, change it like that. But as I already said, it's up to you how you do it. I'm doing it this way. So, yeah. Um, so, um, next up, you create another layer. Rectangle and create a new mask, pretty much like that. Um, you should stop the stop. Sorry, you shouldn't have any colors in it. I'm going to take them off. Okay, so we have just those lines, and that is what you're going to use at the end. So, as you can see, they are pretty straight to each other. Maybe this one isn't that good. Okay, up a bit. Like that. So, um, yeah, what we do now is create a grid. Go to New, go to Solid, hit OK. And now we are going to Effects. I guess it's generate, yeah, and grid. Germans is raster. Um, what we're going to do with this grid, that is what I do. We just scale it down. So hit S on a keyboard, scale it down, about that. Now we just change the side of it. Oh, fuck, wrong one, sorry. Here we go like that and we have 
to untick it here because that might be confusing with it. So um, like that looks pretty similar to mine. Just moved it. Um, good. And what we're doing now is um, choose our mask tool again and create another mask for uh, names or anything you wanna have in it. Like that. I'm going to rush through it. Oh shit. Okay. Now I'm just going to copy this one. Copy. Rotate in a 3D space because that's easier. Ah <laughs> shit. Yep. Now I just have to drag it down and perfect. Oh shit, I forgot to copy. <laughs> shit. Oh, duplicate, I mean duplicate, not copy. Now change this to zero. And we are fine. Yeah. What you can do now is um, you can create a text, add a text to it, um, say in like I did in mine, um, fiddle, change the, change the font for sure. Um, yeah, now you can track this in a 3D space with an intro in it or something. I'm just going to add an intro. Mine. Okay, now I have my intro in it. Going to drag it on top of it. Scale it down. And what I like to do is um, mask my intro. So I make it a little bit bigger as it should be. Make it unseen. Choose my mask tool and start right at this corner here. Doesn't have to be as exact because um, we'll change the mask opacity and smoothness so it looks better. So we'll like that. Redo. Now we go to our mask settings, change the mask softness at the edges to. I'm not sure what I normally do, that is way too much. Uh, yeah, about 50 with this color. Change the mask opacity. Uh, sorry, like that. Ah, that's too much. Yeah, just like that. Mess around with these settings. It's not working really good with this uh, color, this mask smoothness. Um, but you can take down the opacity, mask opacity, or just put it right under the grid and uh, change the opacity of the grid. That's what I prefer to do. Hit T on the keyboard, change it like that. And now as you can see, here's my intro with a little grit in the background, smooth on the edges. Um, and what I added to my, in my window is um, here is those custom spinning icons. Um, and you can do them by yourself, but um, I did some, but then I found out that I have um, a head-up display pack where I can just take them out and add them to it. So um, I'm going to... Shit, sorry. I'm going to um, upload this pack where you have different kinds of um, icons, setup icons. You can use in your edits or in this window or everywhere, everywhere you want to use it. Um, so the link for that will be in the description. Hope I could help you. Be sure to request, um, like, comment, subscribe if you haven't. And if you see the sun, be sure to go out, shut down the PC, and give a fuck about YouTube. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. See ya. Stuck on a computer with a million things to share.
stuck in my computer, glued into my chair.